Hey guys, Happy New Year. Uh, I want to make an announcement. I am proud to announce the triumphant return of Rusty, the cameraman. A lot of you guys have been emailing me and somebody even sent a message to my Steam profile in all caps, where's Rusty? Well, Rusty's back behind the camera. Say hi, Rusty. Okay, Rusty's unemployed again, so now he has more time, which is good because you can, you're going to start to see um, an upgrade from my terrible camera work to slightly less terrible camera work, the standard that you guys have become used to. Now, tonight we're going to talk about, if you remember my last video and the video before that, how I was talking about two new products that I think are just going to be, just kind of revolutionize the way people take care of their guns. I covered that in my last video, the Frog Loop CLP, and tonight we're going to talk about a product called Bore Tips, okay? Uh, bore Tips or Gun Tips, depending on what exact product you have, like this, for instance, this is Gun Tips, and these are Bore Tips. Um, they're made by a company in Massachusetts called Swabits, and it's a company that's been around for like 66 years making swabs for industrial and scientific stuff. And I guess the story I got was that some engineer back in 2010 or early 2011 got it in his head. He's, he's also a, uh, a gun enthusiast. And he got it in his head that the material they were using for their industrial and scientific swabs would be good for gun maintenance. So he worked up some prototypes and the end result is what's laying on the counter in front of me and what I've been using for the last couple months and it's just it's it's really awesome um, <clears throat> so far they are available in pretty much all gun and rifle calibers up to at least for rifles up to 30 caliber uh, handguns up to 45 caliber from as small as 22 caliber I guess this year they're going to come out with some shotgun sized ones and that's the only thing that's not covered honestly it's just really really good products the bore tips okay are like I'll pull some 45 out the bore tips are what they look like it's this, this these swabs this swab material that is uh, shrunk over a plastic jag and you can you know if you're you well you guys know I'm a Warhammer 40k geek and I do I build those models so this ought to look familiar if you're into that kind of stuff you just pop it off okay and it screws right onto any standard cleaning rod and what this does is this takes the place of all those little patches that everybody uses now the awesome part about this stuff is one it's reusable it's washable like for instance this swab has been used in excess of 20 times and it's still pretty clean uh, I wash them using warm water and mild dish soap and clean all the gunk out of them let them air dry and so far this one is holding up really well this is probably the one I use more than anything else this is their um, where's the bag it's the double-ended bore cleaning foam swab, okay? But if you have, like for instance, I shoot mostly 45, so I've been using mostly the 45 Jag. This one has been used 15 times. I didn't clean it after the last time. That's my bad. I left it in my range bag and kind of forgot about it, to be honest with you. Um, but what I've been using mostly is the 45 caliber and the multi-surface firearm cleaning and this double-ended cleaning swab and that's really it they also sent me a prototype of these really really tiny ones because they're thinking about adding them to the line and they're really really tiny and what I found out these are good for especially because you guys know I shoot 1911s almost exclusively these are really good for the extractor and uh, firing pin channels on 1911s, uh, and really they're not good for much else. It's really small, small uh, crevices and stuff that these are good for. But if you were to get, say, a, 40, a package of the 45 and the multi-surface firearm cleaning, 
this would pretty much cover all of your gun maintenance needs as far as that goes. And if you combine it with Frog Loop CLP, you've got a really kick-ass cleaning system without a lot of maintenance, without a lot of trash, without a lot of just stuff lying around. If you're anything like me and you have, you clean guns and, and you're around guns as much as I am, you've got bags and bags and bags of these little cotton patches and boxes full of jags. And this does away with all that. It, it seriously does. It, I, I realize I'm starting to kind of sound like Billy Mays, uh, rest in peace, but it's really cool. You know, it's, there's no lint. You don't get the little, uh, you know the the little pieces that get torn off the patches, getting you know caught on a on a sharp corner, or maybe getting kind of wrapped around an extractor or something like that. And the best part is is that these are actually a little bit bigger than what the caliber is. So this is you know 45 caliber. So you'd figure that this would be you know about 0.452. It's probably closer to like 0 0.460. I haven't actually measured it, but it's just an educated guess. And because of the foam, when you put it, you know, when you in the barrel, what it does is it, it, it completely fills the uh, the grooves in the rifling, okay, which if you're using patches and, and jags is probably the spots that get left out the most, okay, because it just, they don't get in there. When you're using this, when you're using a bore tip, you don't have that problem. It's, you know, in and out of the bore, it gets every single part of the inside of the barrel and you're good to go. Uh, very reasonably priced. I want to say, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I looked at the price list, but uh, one of these packages will cost you about five bucks. And I want to say, if I remember correctly, the multi-surface firearm cleaning is probably about ten bucks. Now, you're not going to be able to use these forever okay it's not a permanent solution so don't think that but they last so much longer that a lot like how I kind of discussed with the frog loop uh, you, you spend a little more up front but in the end you save money because you're using less of the frog loop well and, and, and by that token if you clean them after every time you use them honestly I don't know how long like this double-ended one I don't know how long it's gonna last okay I've used it a ton I've cleaned it a ton it's still in one piece. The, the foam isn't cracking or ripping or, or deteriorating in any way. And it still cleans just as good as it did when it came right out of the bag. Now, like I said, between this product and the Frog Loop, this, this is all I carry anymore in my range bag and it's just it's made my life a whole lot easier you know if I have to do a quick clean between stages at a match or something like that um, you know just a little bit of the frog loop solvent down in the bore okay run the bore tip through it put it away and it's a done deal and it's just it's good stuff when we come back, I'm going to have all this stuff laid out on the counter and we're going to move the camera down so you can just kind of see what everything is. And um, that's probably going to be the end of the video. But in the meantime, it's good stuff. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So starting over here, these are the calibers that are, you know, the, the bore tips that are currently offered. Okay. Uh, starting from my right, your left. Going across, you've got 22, which covers 22, 223, 5.56, 22 Magnum, all that stuff. And then uh, going up into handgun specific, or well, not handgun specific, but handgun prevalent, you know, you've got 357 and 9 millimeter, okay, which would also cover 38 caliber, um, uh, 40 and 10 millimeter, and 45. Now, as far as these ones are concerned, I wish that they offered something in 17. Because for 17s, I've been using uh, these ones and just kind of making it work. But I wish that they offered uh, something in, in something smaller than 22. So for like 17 HMR or 204 Ruger 
or something along those lines. Uh, Bore tips people, if you're watching this, pay attention, okay? Uh, 17 HMR, 204 Ruger, something smaller, we need those too. Now moving over here to the long guns, <clears throat> basically 243 and anything in 30 caliber, okay? Now obviously, if you have an AR, then the 22 caliber one will work as, will work for your ARs, okay? And the 30 caliber is going to cover your AKs and 308s and all that stuff. Now moving up here, um, here is the double-ended foam swab that I use a whole lot. And then just basic stuff, you know, uh, large surface, you know, firearm swabs, uh, mini tips, which are good for, you know, getting into crevices and stuff. The multi-surface uh, cleaning kit, which has a little bit of everything. And then the extended reach uh, 24 count value pack. Now, I don't know the prices on these because I really wasn't paying attention because here's what happened. I called these people. I would gotten some emails from, from viewers wanting to know if I tried this stuff. And I call these people. No. I call these people and and I, I said to them, I said, uh, you know, you don't know me, but I'm kind of a big deal. And uh, I told them who I was and what I did. And I asked if they wouldn't mind sending me out a couple of samples to test. And that I was going to do a video and try them out and so on and so forth. Now, all this stuff you see here on the table, multiply that times two. Because that's what they sent me. I got... A big fat UPS envelope just chock full of this stuff which was so much more than I asked for and expected and was really super awesome because it allowed me to hand out some of these to friends who shoot different calibers than I do and get their input as far as 9 millimeter and, and 10 millimeter and stuff like that and to give other people a chance to try it not just me and everybody I've talked to just they really like the stuff if you're anything like me you get a new cleaning product and you get this bug, you get this urge to just clean all the things, and and that's what happens. Now, uh, wow, I just totally lost my train of thought. I don't know if there's really anything else I can say about these things. Um, for me, speaking for me personally, they have, you know, the combination of them and frog lube has completely changed the way I maintain my firearms. And if, just like anything else, I urge you to try it for yourself and check it out yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, you can buy them. I think you can get them on cheaper than dirt. There's various websites that you know various various retail outlets that sell them. <clears throat> it's not going to cost you too much to to buy. You know the the multi-surface cleaning kit and whatever caliber you shoot the most of and try them out and see for yourself you're gonna be in it less than 20 bucks and if you don't like it well then go back to uh, go back to using cotton swabs and, and and everything else but I think that if you try these you will do what I did which is say wow a whole lot and just kind of fall in love now this is a little bit more of a close-up view but of the double cleaning of the double-ended cleaning one it's dirty okay but it's it's not you know this has been used and used and used and used and washed and washed and washed and it's still I mean it's still all in one piece and this is just a great kind of multi-purpose all surface for pretty much everything and I use the heck out of one of these you know just for a little bit of everything and then again since I shoot primarily 45 this is the one I use the most of and it's just you know this is like I said this is really dirty right now I forgot to clean it the last time I'm probably gonna chuck it to be honest with you because I forgot to clean it but it's not like I don't have more um, down in the comments or in the description of the video there'll be a link uh, you can find these and find out more information at swabits.com, swab-its.com. And try it for yourself. Uh, look on Cheaper Than Dirt, Brownells. Uh, I think you can buy them directly from Dylan Precision because they have their own little uh, retail outlets. Um, I would assume Midway USA, all the normal popular outlets. Uh, buy a bag. Check them out, guys. I think, uh, I think if you do... Uh, they'll be pretty awesome. Now, uh, as a reminder, we got one more, um, uh, another uh, 
viewer questions video coming up. So don't forget to send your questions to rich at guntorturetest.com and I will answer them uh, in an upcoming video uh, probably in the next month or so. Uh, ignore the train, I sure do. Once again, this is Rich from guntorturetest.com and uh, we'll see you next time.